Hello my fellow Wien and welcome back to our series Top Wien Games of 2013. In this episode we'll look at the top 5 adventure games of 2013 and here we go. Adventure games were almost a relic of the past. Very few adventure games make it to one of the big consoles or are produced by the big developer studios today. Luckily, we have the UIA, where underserved game categories flourish in new. One of the first adventure games on the UIA sits at our number 5, Fest the Mud by Replay Games. Fest the Mud is an old school style adventure game like the good old games by LucasArts such as Indiana Jones or Monkey Island. As soon as I started Fest the Mud for the first time, I was taken back a couple of decades and felt like a kid again. The atmosphere, the fun, and the style are just so incredibly well made, it was pure joy playing Fest the Mud. Replay games actually managed to capture the essence of old point and click adventures and brought it to the year 2013. Very well done and Fest the Mud is a must play for any old school gamer. At number 4 we have a game that's slightly odd. It's Hero of Many by Trickstarts. The developer said that Hero of Many wouldn't have found a home with any regular publisher because the protagonists of Hero of Many actually look like sperm cells. While there is a slight resemblance, who cares about that when the game is as great as Hero of Many? On your quest to free your captured friends, you have to use alternating tactics to keep your spawn intact and ready for battle. Hours fly by without you even noticing because you're also invested in Hero of Many. Great unconventional game and you shouldn't miss out on it. Our number 3 is one of the biggest remakes ever, Another World the 20th Anniversary Edition by .musas. Some of you might have played Another World when it was first released back in 1991. The new version on the Wii is a prettier version of the retro hit without destroying anything of its appeal. I honestly cannot stress how much I enjoy playing Another World because of its hardcore attitude to not giving away clues. Unlike in most modern games, there are absolutely no clues on how to proceed at certain points and I have spent hours upon hours finding a solution to extremely difficult puzzles. That was a much appreciated change compared to other games which spoon feed you everything you have to do. So if you like a challenge in a game, get another world. <coughs> the second place in our top 5 adventure list goes to Clark by Golden Tricycle. Speaking of hard games, here's Clark the lovely robot. Clark wakes up one day to find a spaceship in utter disarray and due to his nature as a repair robot he needs to investigate what has happened. Meanwhile Clark also tries to save the love of his life, Claire, a nuclear missile. Isn't that romantic? The level of details and fun in Clark are overwhelming. The music and sounds are on par with major productions and it's hard to believe that a small indie studio from Berlin, Germany is responsible for such a high quality production. I still have to find one thing I don't like about Clark and if it weren't for one game that arrived shortly before our rating deadline, Clark would have won the crown for adventure of the year. Regardless of that, please go out and buy Clark and help support the guys from Golden Tricycle to create more games like this one. So are you excited to find out what the adventure game of the year 2013 is? Well, let's say when legends come together, miracles are made. Hold on to your seat because here is The Cave by Double Fine Productions. Tim Schafer, whom some of you might know as the creator of Day of the Tentacle and more, combined forces with Ron Gilbert, whom some of you might know as the creator of Monkey Island, and they brought you The Cave. The Cave is one of the funniest and most unorthodox adventure games I've ever played. It all starts when you choose 3 out of 7 possible characters, each with its unique abilities and limitations. These characters are so quirky and all have their own background story, it's hard not to fall in love with the cave right then and there. It then continues with countless weird side characters, obstacles and secrets you encounter along the way and of course the cave itself which will comment occasionally on what you did. Like I said, there's no dying in the cave. If it wasn't for all that over the top humor, you'd still have the great graphics and sounds as well as the brilliant game mechanics which require the interaction and cooperation of your characters. I cannot praise the cave enough and I hope that you will grab your copy from the Uya store right now. It's only 5 bucks, so what are you waiting for? <coughs> <coughs> So, at the end of this episode, I'm curious, what was your adventure game of the year? Are you even into lavish adventure games or do you prefer the quick fix games? By the way, have you seen our other game of the year categories? If not, check them out here and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's your duty as fellow Uyen. See you next time. Bye.